This is the BenQ TH530, which BenQ sent over to me to have a look at and give you my honest opinion. And to be honest with you, I've already done a review of it already, or well, I've already been playing around with it, and it is pretty awesome. So in the box you normally get, well not normally get, you'll get a DVD or a CD, you'll get a, a kettle lead as well, and a kettle lead is about a metre and a bit long, which is not too bad, you get RCA or phono uh, plugs with, um, you know like what the, the old school Playstation or micro or micro mini B USB thing, and you get that at the end, you get uh, a foreign cable kettle lead thing. And then you get HDMI lead as well, and this is uh, quite decent. And you get a remote control, and you get a bag, but I don't know where the bag is. But other than that, um, let me talk to you about the actual uh, specs about it, really. So on the back, you've got three um, female ports, and this is um, to obviously monitor anything that's going through it. You also got a Mel uh, VJ port as well, and then obviously a, what is this? a USB mini B, can you remember what it was? On the back as well as a HDMI port and S video. You got two 3.5mm jacks, one audio in, one audio out, and the video RCE um, as well, which is yellow. But you can have one, two, three, four, five, six um, monitors going off the same time off the back of this, and you can use the source button with this and go ahead and um, select what um, what source you want, so HDMI or VGA. Anyway, on the top here, it's got a decent robust scroll wheel, and um, this is like your focus, and uh, you've got a zoom as well, and it's got like a little pinch, and you can just like pinch it back and forwards, or you can just grip onto it and roll it back and forwards. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, the glass on the front's F.22, and uh, it's pretty decent as well. Um, only thing I've got to think about as well. Obviously, someone's got to be, if you want to get like the biggest screen, because the biggest like show on the actual wall, no matter if it's like a grey wall, black wall, green wall, whatever, this adapts to all of that by using remote control or using the function on the actual projector itself. You're gonna have to have someone all the way down there and then they're focusing with the focus wall. And that means that someone's gonna have to be checking to see how focused it really is on the wall from here. Because if you're back over there, it may look like it's focused, but it's not. So you need kind of two people to do that. And um, you can zoom up to 70 inches, 150 inches, and 300 inches. It's really quite cool. You can also zoom it from about a meter and a half. This is also used for teaching. So if you want to go on the internet or you've got some stuff that's on a laptop or a desktop PC and you connect this up to the projector, anything you're doing on the desktop PC or the laptop, you can actually shine straight onto the wall. Um, the aluminums are really, 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 really powerful. I've got a skylight at the top there and a bit of a lightage at the back as well. I had no lights on in a studio and I'll shine up against the wall and it was awesome, proper, really nice. And you can also connect it to the actual ceiling and then you can use a vase mount and then you can basically turn with a menu with the remote control and turn it around the right way and stuff. You can also make the actual screen change to like a bit diagonally or a bit up diagonally or forward like, like with a tilt and a tilt back. And uh, if you move the projector this way or that way or up or down or whatever, it's pretty awesome because what it does is that you can adjust it with the menu or you can adjust it on the menu on the projector and you can get the actual proper footage that you really want. So it looks really, really nice. But I'm talking about like a bag so you can take it with you. So if you're being a teacher or you're using it for work and stuff like and you want to project something on the screen like a graph and that you can easily do that you can easily use a laptop or an apple mac or a desktop pc or even your mobile phone if you've got the right cable to connect to the back
got a nice little BenQ logo on the side there, and then it's got a nice navigational buttons right here, which is all your functionality right there. So you can change profiles and you can change into cinema mode, and also it's got 3D as well, so you can just press 3D of the flick of the button or a press of the button. Anyway, so you've got up and down, left and right, and those are your functionality buttons to do uh, the tilt shifts and stuff on the screen. And also you can do volume up, so you've got left and right to so volume up and down. You power on and off, and it's got an indicator to show whether it's green or red, whether it's on or not. And then the temperature as well, if it's red, it's obviously gonna shut down because it's gonna be run too hot. At least they've got that on there, that's a nice little addition. You've got menu uh, exit button there as well, so you can go into the menu and start navigating into the system and if you jump straight into the remote control you got an info button to show what preference you got it on say that you have wanted it on uh, dynamic mode but actually it should have been on normal mode you can have a quick brief look and it's got all the actual settings and stuff on there as well so you got auto button if you're not new to projection or project projectors and uh, you can use that button and it kind of sets things up kind of on an all right sort of level, but you do have to move it around and stuff like that. Before I even talk a bit more about the remote control, we've got this as well. So this is like a stand, well it is a stand, and it just unscrews out to I think around four and a half centimeters. And if your projector's down flat like that on the wall, it might be cutting into the table or some sort of objects you might have in the way. But then this rises it up, but then you can also adjust it to the left or to the right. But you can also use that tilt shift as well if it's slightly to a left or the right and you're trying to lift books up and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. And um, also has rubber feet as well underneath. And uh, loads of air vents to keep it nice and cool because it does run pretty hot. Anyway, I played around with it. My ideal uh, projector would be this. It's not too bulky. It's quite robust and everything like that. Uh, it looks like it will get dirty pretty quick because it is pretty white and stuff. Um, but it's really good. It's got decent glass on there, as I said earlier. Um, it zooms. It's, the clarity is really clear as well. Um, and the lighting as well. I, didn't eat, I had quite a lot of light in here. So I can imagine how well it would look in a very dark scene. But it just shows that when you're playing it in like how light it is in here now you can actually still see what's on the wall and everything and as I said it can adapt to all different colours on the wall which is awesome. I did like it, I thought it was awesome, I thought it was clear, I do recommend it, I don't know what the price is but I'll leave a link in the description down below, I'll try and find the cheapest place you can buy it and where you can get the longest warranty and stuff like that and um, yeah have a link, have a look in the li link in the description down below and it will take you right there if you want to purchase the uh, this I definitely would recommend it for people who want to show off stuff as presentations from a very far distance even at a short distance really really good and other than that yeah I do I, do. I recommend this product by 8 out of 10 and also if you're doing video production and stuff you want to show things off do it do it with this anyway links in the description down below if you like this video Comment you like this video. If you did not like this video, tell me why you didn't like this video. Maybe you didn't want to see anything about projectors. But on this channel, it's always got anything to do with video production, anything to do with video production, photography, um, uh, building computers, tutorials, overclocking, graphics cards, gaming, case reviews, anything like that. There's just loads of stuff on there. Check it all in the link in the description down below. And like this video if you liked it, and check out the merch as well for Maxed Out if you want to buy some clothes or something for Maxed Out and help the channel out. Link in the description down below. Follow me on all social media platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And yeah, the reason I say that as well is obviously if I'm going to bring out like the 4K version of this, there's a picture of it, and it'll be me describing that it's coming, and then you'll know before the video's out. Anyway, I am out. See you later. Thanks for watching.